information, education is like food. And we know this is true because food nourishes our body and information nourishes our mind. When you take food in, you gotta be honest about the fact that you don't do anything after that. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. Your grounding techniques are doing me well. It's had a lot of sub benefits that I never realized were correlated. I have a question about how you keep track of self-improvement and seeing your own, your own trajectory in life. I find myself reading books or finding golden nuggets online, but I can't remember them. There's stuff that I want to get ingrained in myself, things to remember when I plan things out, all sorts of subjects and topics that I don't know how to manage. This gets me slightly anxious because it doesn't allow me to go deep into the work and focus on myself or certain things that need to get done. I think about the opportunities potentially missed because I didn't get to note, take, or remember a certain important thing. I'm currently reading How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy by Paul Check. Hard Times Create Strong Men, the Bible, and I'm going to read Deep Work. Working out three times a week, note taking, aside, setting aside time for certain important tasks, and learning and meditation. For example, I know that if I take notes on what you say about this, I'll get distracted by the other things in studying and doing. There are other things in doing to manage myself that ground me, but there's still room for improvement. How do I manage this? P.S. I'm also having some complication with accessing the book list from Thou Shalt Read. Oh, that's right. That book list, that website is down. I changed websites. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll look into it and have that fixed. I can probably get it. Uh, think about it this way. Information, education is like food, Right? And we know this is true because food nourishes our body and information nourishes our mind. When you take food in, you got to be honest about the fact that you don't do anything after that. You take food in and you just assume that your body is going to use the nutrients in that food and it's going to get rid of what it doesn't need. You have faith in that. I eat this food. I'm not thinking, okay, there's vitamin D, there's vitamin E, there's magnesium, and uh, I gotta make sure that I use magnesium for the right thing. I gotta make sure that, that the vitamin, oh, and oh, there's these toxins, this stuff in here. I need to get that. I gotta make sure that I poop that out. I gotta make sure that goes to my colon so that it doesn't get into my blood. You're not doing all that dumb stuff. <laughs> we take that for granted. But we get in our head thinking that we take in information and need to digest it don't work that way if you study brian tracy's accelerated learning techniques and if you're honest with yourself you will discover that most learning happens when you're most passive what do i mean by passive well when you eat food that's active when you bring when you bring information in it's active but the food is digested in a totally passive way the information will be accessed, utilized, integrated in a very passive way. But if you're anxious, think about it this way. If you eat food and then you, you're under stress, say you eat food and your body now is going to work to digest it, but a bear comes out from behind the trees and you like, and you're stressed out and now you got to go run. We know that the body will then stop digesting food and, then, and so you'll throw up. Blah! You ever throw up when you work out? I used to have guys throw up all the time when they came to my gym. Because you ate something, but now instead of allowing your body time to digest it, you're working those muscles hard. And so your body has to divert blood from the stomach and digestive tract to the muscles so all that stuff gets thrown up. When you take information into your head and you try to wrestle with it, it's the same thing. Your body is going to fight against it because you're stressed out about it. You, th you, you are stressed out while you're trying to digest information. So you'll never digest it. 
it'll always stay on the periphery. Just like that food, it goes on the periphery. That information will always stay in that book. It'll always be on the periphery because you never relax to let it be digested. So your state has everything to do with it. You need to be in a parasympathetic state. You need to be in a calm state to learn. This is why audiobooks are so good. But you can't listen to audiobooks or videos are so good because listening is, is, is the most passive thing you can do. Reading is very active, so reading's harder. And so sometimes I'll read and I read with a highlighter, so I'm being very active. And so you need both. So if I listen to an audiobook that I know is very good, I then buy the book so that I can, it's passive, but then I, I wanna integrate the active. And so I get the very book. And the best thing to do is when you listen to an audiobook, you know where the best parts are or the things that are important to you. And so you, when you buy the book, you don't have to read the whole book. You just remember those parts. I remember, yeah, chapter four. I remember when he's talking about that. This is just a technique that I use. You could use this too. Listen to an audio book and then buy the book, right? And I know old Uncle E don't have books and audio books. I just I haven't gotten around to it maybe one day. Um, but if you are listening to an audio book or there's a book that you want to read and you want to, want to memorize it or you want to, you want to really ingrain yourself, you need both passive and active, which is helpful. But listening to audiobooks, listening to the videos, those are all passive. So especially if you're walking, because you, they say when you digest food and you walk, it helps you digest it because it gets the digestive system going without you doing anything. So I like to walk and listen to books. A lot of the things I learn is just because I'm walking and listening. I'm just walking and listening. I don't know anything, fellas. <laughs> but I listen and I walk a lot. And when I find things that, and here's the other thing too, things that stimulate you. Not everything is going to be stimulating. Not everything is going to be stimulating. And you have to be okay with the fact that not everything is going to stimulate you. Like, like, for example, you can't get caught up with how everybody else feels about a book. Like, for example, uh, Eckhart Tolle. I know a lot of people love Eckhart Tolle. They, you know, are very popular in the popular culture, read his books. I try to listen to and I try to read Eckhart Tolle and I'm like bored. I'm like, what is this? Who is this guy? This is, I can't hear this. I can't listen to this. I read the book. I'm like, this, this is ridiculous. And I'm not making a judgment about him. I'm just clear about me. That don't vibe with me. A lot of people don't like me. They can't, they just can't hear Elliot. That's okay. I'm not, you're not supposed to. We're all different. I like Jordan Peterson. I like what he stands for. I like what he's doing. I can't listen to him. I put on a Jordan Peterson video and I'm like cringing. It's like scratching a chalkboard. I'm like, <laughs> I gotta turn him off. That's no judgment against him. That's just me. It's something about me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just, I have to be honest. And so when you study and stuff, you can't be about what you supposed to learn. You can't be about what you're supposed to like and absorb. You have to be just about what you can like and absorb. It's just like food again, right? Everybody might say this food is great. Oh, this is good food. It's good for you too. You should eat it. But then you eat it and you're like, I don't like this. You can't help it. I can't help it. I don't like it. I know it's good for me. I know you like it, but I don't want to eat that. <laughs> you got to be honest with yourself about that, right? And then maybe something weird that you like that nobody else like. Like you weirdos that like listening to me. Less and less people want to hear me. But I know the guys that stick around. It's just like you have a, you have a, what is, what they say like a, your appetite. You have a taste. You have a developed taste. You have a developed taste for the things I say. Yeah, that's why I'm only looking for people who have a developed taste for what I have to say. Some things you have to develop a taste for. You can't just start eating caviar, right? You can't start just eating carpaccio and um, steak tartare and escargot. You have to have a taste for that. You have to have a refined taste for that. You need a refined taste to absorb Uncle E. <laughs> right? Most people got McDonald's taste, so they like that McDonald's stuff. So that's another thing. I'm just, give, I'm just throwing out tips for you. That's another thing. Uh, and there's one more that I want to offer you. Just like with food, I'm still staying with that analogy, 
if you eat food and you don't exercise, what happens? That food turns into fat. And what is fat? That's, that's extra calories and food that wasn't accessed. You didn't use it. You didn't use that. You took that in and it's just collecting. A lot of people are like that. They're just collecting, they're obese with information. You're just fat. You're just fat with information. You don't even know how to use that. Why are you reading so many books and watching so many stuff? You don't know what to do with it. You're just getting fat with it. The same way when you take in food, you have to go lift. You got to build it into you. You got to burn it up and use it with energy. You got to do the same thing with information. Part of the reason why I retain so much of what I read and learn is because I exercise it through my jaw when I'm talking to y'all. How many times am I talking to you guys and I'm like, oh, I'm just learning this stuff. I'm working it. In fact, a lot of the times when I'm talking to you guys, I'm working it out in my, I'm working it out like a workout. I'm working it out right now. So a lot of times you guys might think that like, oh, Elliot sounds so smart. He must have thought this through or, or has this, you know, down pat. But that's not true. I'm working it out as I'm speaking to you. You got to work out the information. And the best way to work out the information is to teach the information. The best way to learn is to teach. Have you ever heard that? The best way to learn is to teach. And so I know, first of all, half the information that I'm pulling in, I'm trying to absorb, one half of it is for the salvation of my soul. Like I'm reading it because I want it for me. The other half of it, I'm reading it because I want it for you. Right? Like I'm reading all these, I, I read a lot of books on dating and stuff. Right? I'm reading a couple of these books about yeah, how to meet women and stuff. I don't want to meet no women. I'm no interest in that. But I can't stay ignorant because my workout buddies, you guys, need, my, need me to talk about that. Right? So half of the stuff, I only take it in because it's for my profession. That's my professional reading. You have to decide where you're going to exercise that information so that you can, so you can exercise it out with the, your training partner, people that you're going to teach. Just like every other job. Every, job, every job that you have, or most jobs that you have that's information-based, you got to read about it, right? They even have like, you have to have like uh, uh, education credits, like you got to keep your credits up. I know if you're a personal trainer, you got to have like a certain amount of like taking seminars and reading books and you got to prove to them. Me, I prove my worth by serving you. So I'm doing, I'm doing professional reading. <laughs> right? that's my professional reading and so you got to decide is this my professional reading and if it's my professional reading who am I professing it to or am I reading for the salvation of my own soul I'm reading for my own you say self improvement and if you're reading for your own self improvement you can also put it into a plan for yourself so that's a lot for you to digest there dude but I just wanted to offer you a cornucopia of ideas that you can implement without getting um, overwhelmed. <laughs> Num and I started with this, and I'll leave you with this. You got to relax. You can't learn when you're tense. You absolutely cannot learn when you're trying to learn. Just like you can't digest food by trying to digest food. You have to allow it to happen. Done. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war, as well as how it's affecting your health, your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, how millions of men are fighting back and winning the war against masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit MakeMenStrongAgain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world. But 
it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.